my gosh, it's been it. so long. Oh my goodness. It's been forever. It's forever. Uh, nighttime here. What is it there? Nighttime. Oh, it's it's noon here. So lunch. I just have oh. had some peanuts. I just had dinner. I try cooked. not to eat as much. Oh, I, the, mm, nothing's working. Let's just be honest. I know. No. Thyroid shot. It's all shot. <laughs> <laughs> Mid forties, early fifties. Welcome. It's horrible. Forties are. I'm telling you, it's nobody warned you. Like, why were all the previous generations gatekeeping this information? Yeah, I don't and understand. When they do they talk don't. to you, they're like, "Oh, perimenopause, menopause. It lasts ten years." Like, wait, wait, what? What? Yeah, I spent no. all. I spent my twenties and thirties pregnant, nursing, you know, carrying around baby weight, and I'm thinking the forties are going to be it. It. No, no. Yeah. They don't tell you everything just shuts down. All of the shop shuts down in your forties. And you're like, no, no, this is when I actually have slept eight hours. So now I should be like starting to get back to my, well, right. I think we think we can go to back to easier. 20. Not. Everything no. hurts. Everything hurts. Everything I hurts. get out of a chair and it's like, everything <laughs> like is tight. And it like takes a minute to kind of like uncramp everything. And my kids look at me like, What's wrong? <laughs> right. I have to stretch immediately leaving the bed. Immediately. What? And like, then you even have pain when you're laying in the bed. Like my knees, I, if I lay on them like wrong, like on top of each other like this, they all of a sudden I wake up in the middle of the night with severe pain and, oh, okay. Girl, like I'm not even doing I'm, anything. No, I'm not doing anything either. This I live in an apartment and somebody just tried to, I don't know what that was. Anyway, so I went to get up this morning and I didn't know that like, I really have to think about sitting up, then rolling. You know what I'm saying? Or right. roll, then sit up. Right. So I tried to do both and nearly got myself a hernia out of the whole thing. And I'm like, honestly, 47 should not be the new 95. I mean, this is dumb. No, I know. Nobody tells like, you. Nobody I tells know. you. Okay, but then listen and listen. If you guys are watching this, like, let me know. Okay, so if you see pictures of like your parents or your relatives oh. when they were in their 40s or 50s and you're like, holy crap, they look old. Is that what I look like? Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's so I bad. I don't know if the style was just bad, you know, like that just on the... 70s and 80s styles did not do good on the 40 50 year olds and like especially the men like what are you wearing <laughs> listen it didn't do good for us i go back to look at those pictures in like sixth grade i have feathered my hair no. by putting it in the middle what and you did not it, hurt my... it in the middle yes and then my collar is up because that helps everyone <laughs> my collar is up and, you know, this is before braces. So you got teeth coming out of everywhere. This is when your kneecaps are bigger than your thighs. And you think you're good looking. <laughs> so I got all sorts of pictures. And you I'm like, mom. Your faucet going on, your little. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. And oh, I'm an only gosh, child. The braces and the, you know, what are we wearing? Weird. Anyway, I, I don't know. I'm like, I look at those pictures of my parents and I'm like, how old are you there? <laughs> hey and the amount of money okay my grandma used oil of olay yes okay. i tried to yes. i tried to use that nearly burn my face right the heck off so i don't know really? what's in it now but the amount of money we spend now on all that stuff my mom did not spend a dime she i think she used dove dove soap listen, okay on her listen face. let's talk about this do you have let's. a nighttime skincare routine I do now do because you? I have scared myself when I get up in the morning and I'm like, whose face is that? It's not mine. It's so true. It I is mean, scary. It, it's so, so yeah, I'm, I'm dropping money. Like it's hot for anything. <laughs> do that'll you do it. Do you do it every okay, day? Well, you do it every that, day. You know, I have issues with discipline <laughs> and consistency because that gives me a rash. It's a yeah. lot of work to be consistent and real boring. I got to just kind of fly by the seat okay. of my pants. I, that's a great topic too. It's boring. 
you know, it's boring. It's like, you know, okay. Can I just say, I had a thought this morning because I met this lady. She's a little bit older than me. She's always going to the gym mm. every day, 6 a.m. And oh. she's like, and I asked her about it randomly. And she was like, well, it's like my only me time. And I'm thinking, you want to go? If, if this is your only me time, that's not what I'm doing. That is not, praise the Lord. <laughs> that is right? not what I'm doing. It's not what no. I'm doing. Only no. me time. Is it real? Is she just saying that? Is it her excuse for whatever she's running away from? I don't know. But I'm just like, if that's your only me time, I am yeah. in bed watching a show on my phone, Ma'am. scrolling. Yes. This is what I'm doing. Yes. Come I'm on, people. This. I'm wearing this, wearing it, and I'm out. I don't <laughs> want anybody to talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. I want somebody to bring me a cupcake and lie to me and tell me it's fat-free, sugar-free, and it won't bother me. Yes, yes, yes. And so, no. I, I don't know. So we look like our parents. I mean, we. I don't feel like I look like my parents did at this age, but maybe maybe they're a little thinner, but... Um, <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, the nighttime routine. I remember my grandmother had it and people always are saying how nice her skin is. And I just always saw it. Yes. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, well, my, my grandma's skin was great, but she had no teeth. So she pulled those suckers out at night. I don't care what your skin looks like. <laughs> no. We so, used to hide I'm my just... grandmother's teeth and then she'd get up in the morning blah, 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 and we would go hysterical. Right. I, can't. So, I mean, they're they go scary. To... Oh, it's the first Snapchat you... filters. No teeth. <laughs> then when they come for you, they're going to give you a kiss. It's literally like a vacuum suction. Oh, it's not pretty. It's, it's, Bam. it's a I whole mean, film. It's, it really is. So, you know, I love that. That was the first Snapchat filter and we didn't have really, you had the film camera. So it took forever and a decade to go get them printed so nobody got a picture i know that. nobody got it printed it's the first gen x snapchat filter your grandmother with no yeah. teeth coming at you oh. yeah now the snapchat filter looks like you are on some kind of heavy dose of meth it's oh, so bad i hate I'm those like, when they're left on and i turn it on and i face like oh. Oh. <laughs> traumatizing i'm like no now i'm gonna have a nightmare Okay. Okay. And back I'm the, to the skincare routine. Back to the skincare routine. Yes. You have, you bought all the crap because well, you're in America. And so I don't blame you because if I was there, I probably wouldn't have it all. Oh yeah. And I have a whole. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I literally, I'm like this. I about spend 10 seconds. Then I go into bed <laughs> and I know I shouldn't because I'm not at the age I shouldn't, but then I no. go listen to this true story. I go on vacation with my daughter who's 15 and every night she puts this thing on like this and then uh -huh. she's and she has like the steps that she's going through and she's 15 like what are you doing yeah. and she literally and I'm like well let me try it let me try it she says no she paid for it anyway that's you know my bad on the parenting but like that's I'm a whole... she's 15 she doesn't need yes. that stuff and she no. just literally turns to me this is not a joke she turns to me and says well you know I need to have better skin than you when I'm that age mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep this is when you know you can't smack people anymore <laughs> you're not allowed to do that but that would be the appropriate setting okay can I hear it from the 80s anyone <laughs> Thank you. Mine, you are not going to believe this. Sophie, it's nine o'clock at night. She's also 15 with a skincare routine. Okay. Yeah. She says, mom, we got to go. I am in for the night. It is 9 p.m. I have my jammies on. Go. Where are we going? She goes, I am out of hydraulic. Hydro, hy yes, am yes, I uh, yes, yes. I know my daughter I has it. Yeah, some sort of acid. I keep, acid, I feel like yeah. I'm talking about oil that goes in a car. But anyway, it's, and she had to have it. We had to go. You guys, we have like nine bazillion makeup stores, Sephora, Ulta. You get in there. It, I can't. Did I can't. Really so we had to go do that. Right? Yes. 
because okay. it's poor parenting on my part. Okay. okay. I know. Well, Don't it's, it's also comment. that it's open. See, like New Zealand, you don't have any, nothing's open past like 5 30 or 6. <laughs> so, are you serious? Like dead. Yeah. There's literally nothing open. It is, this is okay. not a place for nightlife. No. So, things are open to like 9, but COVID ruined us for the rest of time because it, stuff used to be open late, late, late. Now it closes. Mm -hmm. oh, so, I don't know what these poor people are going to do. Our children. Right. They're going to have to learn Under how to wait acid for their 15 year old acid. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the fact yeah. that she wouldn't share it with me and like, she was like, oh, I like and they all have that I've opinion. done for you. Oh, this is when I talk about how long labor was and where they came from. Yeah. How exactly they got I did. here. Exactly what I did. And yes. then I literally saw a video that I sent to her yesterday of a mom who goes into her daughter's room does this <laughs> and starts playing with all her makeup and she's kind of looking around like hoping she doesn't see her yes and I'm like holy cow that's me like I have yes. to sneak and use it and I'm gonna use it because whatever I give you everything you can share a little lip gloss okay do you remember Gen Xers in the house did we did we just go do whatever we wanted with our mother's things no, no, my daughter, I'll be like, Hey, 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 I need the tweezers. I mean, I got hair coming out of places that it shouldn't be. And it is like wiry. I can't find my little, my little tweezer. Oh. Well, step and fetch my 15 year old. She's got it along with the six other things that I bought just the other day for myself. Did she ask me? No. Uh -uh. If, nope. If if it's yours, it's also hers. This is how correct. It is. Yeah, twenty twenty four. I'm like, this what? is cool. no. I know, and they just My take it. and then they have the nerve to not even put. They're not even trying to hide it. They're oh, they're not. It oh, there's no with the lid off in their bathroom no. and like <laughs> just use oh. my stuff. And listen, I'm not a smoker. No offense to anybody who is. I don't want to do that. But the amount of perfume that is sprayed I up in this two bedroom apartment. I could die of some sort of yeah. toxic lung overload. And then I'm trying to I'm trying to enjoy coffee and it's literally like a like a nuclear bomb has gone, you know, it's like I'm like ah! it's so bad. No, it's true. I, I literally I have to walk down the stairs and make yeah. sure the kids are up for bed and I go down two steps and I smell it and yeah. I know she's up. <laughs> yep. Back to bed I go. <laughs> okay, so sorry, we just kind of jumped right in here, guys. If you don't know who we are, um, we are friends, Christy and Tara, and she lives in the U.S., and we were friends when we were in college age, and I live in New Zealand currently, and we've had uh, Tara Christy show on this channel, and it's great, and you can just click on the playlist that I will put up there for you um, and watch a lot, us on all the other shows. But um, so, yeah, so it's just been a really long time and I'm just bringing her on. And we just kind of started talking and it's just real talk. It's just girl talk. It's just girlfriend talk. It's whatever it is. Yeah. This is so, what we do. Um, yeah. So I actually asked the community for some questions or things they okay, want to I'm ready. talk about because they're dying. I mean, you guys, they, they, People have been banging, where's Christy? Where's Christy? Aww. Everywhere. And so- You um, guys are the best. I know. Okay, so I got good. hair so coming So barbecuing somewhere. in America versus New Zealand, as in we grill and don't seasoning along and slow unless it's speaking. Well, um, what? Okay. What? Can you discuss cooked school lunches versus bring your own packed sausage rolls, pies, price, nutrition? Thank you. So if you don't know, Christy, like there's no hot lunches here. Like everybody just- What do you mean? Like at, and the, there's no like cafeteria with an option for hot food that someone makes for you. Everybody brings their own food. So in a, oh. like in a high school here, like there might be a cafe- where people could buy something and they'll just have like two or three items. But a lot of times that's a whole separate business. It's not school related and it's not cheap. really so. Oh, no. So basically you people are healthy. That's what I'm hearing. Um, so hot lunch. Cause hot you used lunch, to be a lunch lady. Give us all the pointers. I did. Mm -hmm. 
a lot of cans, a lot of opening cans, a lot of frozen, warm it up in the oven. A lot of, you know, there's just a lot of preservatives. And uh, yeah, it's for people like me who they can't plan ahead to save their ever loving life. And because in America we go 900 miles an hour, we'd rather spend $50 a month on hot lunch than going to get cold lunch and make it for our children. Or that's just me. No, so it's, it's like, I would say, is it probably about three bucks a meal every day, I would say. And you get a protein, a fruit, a veggie, and your choice of milk or juice. If you want any extra white milk or chocolate milk, correct. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember that and my kids, they love the hot lunch because they remember it finally because they don't have it here. And of course my kids are old enough where I, they're making their own lunch. Like I haven't made oh, lunch right. in years. So, you know, not that they're mm -hmm. eating healthy because they're, you know, their choices. So well, what I do they put in their lunch? Yeah, I, I still have to prep. Like if I don't have like salads, my daughter doesn't like sandwiches, but she'll eat salad. So as long as I have something in there, she'll she'll eat it, you know, and she'll, but I have to prep it a little bit because, you know, kids are not eating vegetables unless they are cut up by somebody else and organized. Yeah. Oh, and even in that, I keep buying vegetables for my darn self and I keep tossing them at seven days <laughs> every time. <laughs> Dang it. Because I even think if somebody else washes it and cuts it up this is not hard i just pull it out and eat it but if it's anywhere near the chocolate pudding in my fridge i i just don't seem to get to it i know i love is anybody else chocolate or pudding in the u.s oh my gosh it's with whipped cream oh, the whipped cream and a couple um, chocolate chips on top i have i make it oh. myself here because i love it because it's you know it's a low calorie dessert and it just feels delicious because that's the key right oh. you need to mentally feel like you're eating something that you like in order to actually continue on mm -hmm. um correct yeah every diet plan I I have to have a treat or I can't do it no I know so here's the thing that I've been thinking about diets um and work with me here because unfortunately every time I look at like content for Gen X it's always around losing weight always it's I don't know yeah. like can we not be concerned about something else like well, we finally it's, got it's through this we could start a whole new life right now but we're just going to concern about this anyway it's important you should get yourself sorted I'm not saying that you shouldn't but it's not everything no but I think we're all shocked we don't still fit in a size six right like they're right. double digits all of a sudden and we're like what so here I didn't do anything different yeah here's my problem with dieting and yeah. what I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. So for years now, I mean, I even went through a, to a hypnotherapist. You got to help me with this. There's something in there. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't figure it out. This is awesome. Yeah. On my I own. Right. And so I've been really thinking about, I've been trying to be really honest with myself and really honest about what I'm thinking when I want to go eat that or when I do, um, <laughs> you know, because it, it shows like nobody can hide it. Okay. No. No, you're not no. hiding anything. Okay. No, you're not hiding so, the thing, guys. You're not hiding the thing. So I think the problem for me is like the the problem with diets is that they kind of ruin you forever because like the thought of going on a diet and then your body remembers that feeling of being hungry. And it's like all you want to do is avoid feeling at all costs. Like I don't want to feel that horrible hunger. That's what I think it is. Okay. I think that I've been that's through... really the problem. If someone can give us a solution and don't send yeah. me this, like, I eat more than I used to. And it's, and it's all, I, yeah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to eat that. No, I don't want to hear that. Plus here's the thing. I've been through enough trauma in my life. So your twenties and thirties, you know, when you have signed up for what I would call Jerry Springer, which I did not know I signed up for that, but I did. When you hit your forties and all of a sudden your metabolism is not working. Your thyroid's not working. Your face all of a sudden has six hormones. chins. You have no estrogen. Yeah. Your hormones are not working everybody. correctly. <laughs> people, uh -uh. you just hate people. Yeah. The diet thing, not happening. Because let me tell you what I want. 
yeah what after jerry springer i want comfort you yeah. know what comfort is whipped cream on a cloudy day <laughs> it is a lot of chocolate a lot of peanut butter because i like to lie to myself and say it's protein so you just add that in with the ice cream and then the chocolate syrup on top and here's the problem you just want some comfort you want somebody you come home from work you just want somebody to say it's okay you're gonna lose 10 pounds someday not today that's okay, what i want so this is what i did like last year when before i came to the us and europe or whatever i was like, okay, so for one month, I'm going to eat low carb. I'm not going to do no carb. Like, I'm not stupid. Ooh. Like, I'm just going to be like, I already hate people. And then like murder will happen <laughs> without carbs. This is, and that should come with a warning. Yeah. There should be a warning on all females that are currently dieting. So people know to watch. Watch out. out. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. So the I, decided, anyway, go ahead. I decided I'm not going to listen to anybody. I'm going to be like honest with myself about what I'm thinking. I I know what, what has ever worked. You've tried everything. What has worked? Obviously less bread works, less pasta works, <laughs> has worked, you know? And so, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do low carb. I'm not going to pick a number. I'm not going to like stress because I know all of those things I lose. I cannot maintain it and I lose and I yes. run the other way. I'm not going to make totally. myself weigh myself every day. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do all these stupid rules. I understand the account yes. of don't come at me. Okay. I know. So what I did was I took, this is what I want to eat. You know, like this is what we normally make. This is what we make. Hamburgers, okay. tacos, you know, um, yes. lasagna, whatever it is, butter chicken. I love it. Right. And so I'm like, I'm going to make all of these things healthier. I'm just going to make what I'm already eating without the carbs. So I had cauliflower rice instead of rice and I made oh. bread with cheese and it was and I'm you know and it was effort it was just definitely effort you know like yeah. but it Everything's was more effort. motivating because I was going to make something that I think will actually be good and that I actually already mentally want to eat mm -hmm. you know what I mean and I yeah. have the bun like I'm not eating the I'm not eating a hamburger without a bun I'm not like I, where am I putting all of my condiments and my vegetables? Yeah. Because so the I lettuce is not whole carb yet. bun. Just, and it works. It doesn't. I, I lost six pounds, seven pounds in a month. <gasps> That's great. But, Good. And I, but then I came there. <laughs> well, and everything's here. Cheese curds. Oh, and then when I'm there and I'm only there for a short time, I eat everything and then it's over. So anyway, it was good. Um, yeah. So I, and I'm trying to do that again, but uh, it's not really working because I'm feeling like it's a lot of effort right now. It's a bit busy. So how it, you is. know, you just need well, to prioritize yourself and I still struggle with that. So if anybody has got some tips. Oh, that's just forever. I think if you're a mom or working woman of any sort, you and you're our age, you just are, it's like, there's no time for you. And we've been teaching ourselves that for so long that it almost feels wrong when we go, oh, actually, I'm not going to drive you around like an unpaid Uber. I'm actually going to just sit my butt here and you'll be fine for a whole right. 30 minutes. You can wait. My daughter cannot wait. She is like, listen, I get done with school at three. We're going to need you there at 245. I'm going to need you to park in the parking lot because I'm not walking any further than the four steps out the front door. I don't know about you. I had to walk home and it was not a block. <laughs> I walked home. I ran from a car that tried to kidnap me. I mean, this is the 80s. No, we survived. Uh, we survived. <laughs> Metal. Metal slides. We survived. Metal slides. With, with no sides. Like, people, what in the world is wrong with our parents? And it was like straight up like the Eiffel Tower. Straight up. And then no sides. It's hotter than a red wagon, which means your skin gets left oh, up skin. top as you go down. Oh, my dear Lord. But look at us. We will survive. 
Gen Xers, let's hear it. Are you here? Are you here? Yeah, it's like um, I've tried to fight. I've tried to fight those battles myself. And it's just, it's more work dealing with them complaining at me than it correct. is. Correct. This is why I'm like, fine, 245 parking lot. I'm, I'm there. Even gonna, you know, it's just like, you know, but then my husband, he'll go and pick her up. And if she's not exactly there at the time, he leaves. So that's a lot helpful for me. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. My ex-husband will well, you just weren't not there. answer the phone. You wouldn't, you weren't there. So figure it out. It's 10 o'clock at night. She's a female. Okay. Just right. call her. Could you? No, they can't. They're set. They're like, you will not inconvenience me. And I'm like, oh. that's all I've been ever since these people showed up. I don't up, understand I that. I want to, no. I want to under, I want to be like that. Can I be like, I know I want to be like, I want to be them. They can sleep. When these children are are nowhere around, I know they can. And they sleep. don't worry about anything. The things that I like zero wake worry up and think about, and he's just like it doesn't even enter the mind. They just sleep, like, you know. And, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, constant. It's constant. And I feel like I worry because you're not worrying. Like if I felt like you were, then I could relax about it, you know. And I don't know, but I mean, we're moving towards being more like men, right? We're losing our estrogen. We could not be more masculine right now. <laughs> oh, I'm going to don't care. Right here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have a mustache in no time, maybe a little chin hair, maybe a goatee. I don't know. But I'm losing my hair here. It grows here. I what? I don't understand. <laughs> zero. I understand zero. And like you said, as I get older, you care very, very little about what I look like. I actually look like Walmart people now. You know, when you would make, you know, we used to make fun of. No. There was a Walmart kind of type of person. That's anybody over 45. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares now. We're wearing the same clothes and that ugly card again. You got it. Look, Mr. Rogers on steroids over here. With our hair I got every color. Crazy. Look like this. Oh, that's what I got today. Like this. I tried to beach wave my hair and that didn't go well. So it went up in a pony because it's just bad. Well, how now, did you try to beach community... wave it? Well, because I was going out. So I, I had to look how, you. how, how? Oh, you take a straightener. Yeah. You take a little piece of hair and you turn it away from your face. I was doing it wrong. I put everything towards my I face. Don't do that. Get hard. it away. I find that very hard. Why are we? I find that very hard. This is what you do. So you get your 15 year old daughter who's been giving you nothing but crap all week long and you have them do it. Oh, That's what I did. Good. Yeah, it worked out just fine. Is our, our people asking us anything about, you know, oh, what do they want to know, guys? Oh, Karen and I can yeah. do this all day about nothing. Gosh, you're so distracting. I can't. Okay. So somebody also asks about what matters in life and do does it do we feel more fulfilled in the US or New Zealand in terms of what matters? So obviously that depends on the person in terms of what yeah. matters in life. I think that we could all agree to health, safety, low stress, you know. Um, and I think that, I think that you can get it. You know what I'm going to say? I've thought about this a lot. It is ingrained in the value system of New Zealand for those things to be valued and not as much in the U S for those specific things. Um, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist there. Um, right. I think that who you are around heavily influences that as well in terms of how you think about that. Are you letting those people in that causes stress? Um, you know, the healthcare system, it's hard because it's like, you can, you can afford it or you can't, or you could go bankrupt just because you have an accident. Like that's very stressful when you don't have that yeah. here, you know, even none of it. Um, my daughter had full knee surgery, like, you know, it was a walk out with a, thank you. No, wow. not, not a penny zero. Like no. it's, for me, it was like, whoa. So like the benefit of being here is that your eyes open to a different way of doing something. You get a perspective, yeah. then you're able to draw conclusions from that. And then you, some, sometimes you change your value system and your beliefs because you, you've actually, because you can't, you can't, you can't read about that. You know, people, a lot mm -hmm. of Americans read about socialized healthcare, you know, and they think it's bad. Because yeah, they, don't and we don't know. It. they haven't experienced yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? And so right. it's not perfect in either way, either way is not perfect, but it's just, 
I'm like, oh my goodness. It's just, you can't. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah. I think it's based on per, uh, person too. Cause in the U S the, the things that were of value 30 years ago mm -hmm. are starting not to be as much value. So family was huge value 30, 40 years ago. Right. Your faith, your, your church community, big value right. sports. That wasn't even a thing. Women didn't even play sports, you know? And so now the value has switched to kid focused and sports and it has taken away a lot of community. But if you are a person who says faith is important and family is important, you'll make it happen. Yeah, Whether you you're here, living in New Zealand, what whatever. Saying. Like you can set yeah. up your life however yes. you want. And like, even when I was there with my parents and was working there and there for a couple of months and work life looks different than the world that they grew up in. Yes. And that was just a constant communication as like my mom interrupting me and I'm like, I'm working, you know? <laughs> and they think, cause I'm home, they don't understand it exactly. You know, and you've seen a million videos, right. you know? And it's like, work looks different. Expectations are different. Be if you set yourself up for that, be there's plenty of like normal nine to five, you know, whatever kind of work. Oh, sure. But like, there's an option these days with the digital economy for it to look different. And you have to put yes. steps in place for that to happen. And and it's great. And I've been helping people do that. And it's just, it's, yeah. it's just getting easier and easier. AI yeah. actually. But like, easier. Yeah. And like you were telling me, because I've never been to New Zealand, I've never lived over there, right. but you used to live here and just the work, the amount of time off you guys get is amazing. And we talk about it here a lot. Like a lot of other Americans talk about, we're all killing ourselves for a paycheck. And then by the time you get to retirement, you're going to use all your money for cancer, a heart attack, a stroke, because you have stressed yourself out so bad working and working and working and working to try to get to a point where you can take a break. Well, now we're old trying to take a break. Right. And I'm not saying we, everybody should work hard. I, I mean, you just, we should work hard, but there's other, there's other ways that you can do that and also value time because time is not something you can bottle up and keep. Right. And so as we're getting older, for me, time is becoming more important to me to have have it off, have it doing something I want to be doing. Right. Um, and so I'm picking jobs based on that, not based on the dollar amount. Correct. And that's what people need to be looking at. They're like overemphasizing this like, their happiness equals money a lot of times. And like, really like what actually would bring you happiness is to be able to go to your kids' sporting events, to be able yes. to be done at three o'clock every day, you know, and what does that look like at 40, $50,000 a year, then you're happy and you have time and your job doesn't suck because it's not taking up, you know, you can do any job, um, like in say 20 hours a week and feels like nothing. <laughs> You know, True. so like, if yeah. you just think about it like that, so like, yeah, so I, you know, I have been working towards getting to the point where I could just work part time and run these things and just be able to build community and time or to just be, you know, yeah, like the goal needs to not be to make X amount of money. The goal needs to be for you to be um, living your best life, whatever that looks like for you. And yes. it's different for everybody. And there's no judgment yes. around it, you know, mm -mm. so. I still think our best life will be having our own talk show and somebody needs to pick us up and uh, make it happen. <laughs> QVC. Well, Wait, did I say that right? Q yeah, QVC. That You said that right. But but that's okay. the beauty of it is that like I was just actually listening to, what is it, Ben, J-Lo's husband? Why is Ben Affleck? Oh yeah, Affleck He's or like, whatever, Aff whatever. Yeah, so like people are saying that celebrities aren't as good anymore. And he's like, no, like the whole world has decentralized celebrities. So people's celebrities are now their favorite YouTubers or their favorite podcasters. And it's not some random people that decide that these really good looking, talented people are the celebrities. You know, people have new celebrities, like it's decentralized. Anybody for free can go out and create something and it's amazing. And you'll yeah. find your people just if you're willing to be you, being your authentic yeah. self. This is something that I was talking about yesterday. Let me know what you think about this. 
I was thinking yeah. about the fact that um, somebody had mentioned that it's actually hard, whether you're on a podcast or social media or whatever you want to do, or just in life to be your authentic self. So that's, what's important. That's what's working. That's what people do. Yeah. They're done with the fake, the acting, the, the, I have, I'm, I'm rich and I'm amazing. You know, everybody's done with that. But the thing yes. is, is to actually, when you actually do it, I create about 11 pieces of content a day. So I do it and I've been doing it for years. Wow. Yes, you have. Realize very quickly that you will be miserable if you're not your authentic self, but it's yes. hard to figure out who your authentic self is. Because if you think about it, we've lived our whole life putting on a persona, whether we're at church or at school or with our parents, there's just, there's not, it's not like not us. It's just tweaked a little bit, right? Yeah. That's have a such persona. A good word. Yes. And yes. so we put ourselves out there on social media. When it first started, we we're putting out a persona of us and now it's changing and we've adapted to just be yourself. But who is that? Because I've never really been that. And I certainly yeah. haven't done it publicly, you know, right. <laughs> and it's so like, I'm, telling, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like to myself. business owners and they're just like, well, what is, you know, and I'm just like, you actually have to just create, you actually have to make videos or write or whatever you're comfortable with. And then you start to find your voice and then you start to find what you actually think about things and you, what your opinions are about things, you know, cause we just live up here and we don't really know yes. we have to make a decision because we're not saying it here, you know? Yeah. So, and then you become more of your authentic self because you're like, oh, actually, this is what I actually think about this. And I'm okay with this. And I don't care what you think, you know? Right. And, and again, age helps with that because I feel like when you're still kind of morphing into, okay, who am I? You, yeah, we have yeah. so many different chapters of life. It's like with your parents growing up, uh, being on your own in college and, and, you know, trying to figure out what you're going to do, picking your spouse, then you get married, what, what that looks like with that whole new role. Then you have kids and that you're like, okay, I know what society wants me to be. I know what church has said, society, my husband, my parents, my kids. Now, when I break it all down, what, who am, who did God make me? Right. Who am I? What do I like? Like Tara's been, Again, we've been friends a long 20 plus years. And um she helps me think through. I mean, you guys gotta have people in your corner who know you really well and are not afraid to hurt your feelings, not because they're trying to hurt your feelings, but because they love you so much. And you can take that then. Cause they I Tara loves me. Right. And so when she says to me, get your head out of your rear, you're not doing that anymore. Right. I go, no, oh. Okay, that's right. That doesn't serve me anymore. That served me for a season. And now I'm growing up out of that season. I think sometimes when we go to a new season, we're so afraid of it because it's so unfamiliar. When you're 45 and now divorced after 20 plus years with three kids, <laughs> my whole life, I, I had no idea who I was, what I'm supposed to do with my time. I mean, that just kind of happened for me living in a certain type of life. Mm -hmm. And then it changes. And in all of life, there's always a change. There's always change. Always. If you can count it's on constant. anything, it's change, yeah. you know? So it really, that's a really powerful thing you're saying that I hope people really hold on to. I mean, we love to be goofy and joke around and this is who we really are, <laughs> but we also really want to stop wasting time being or doing something we weren't created to do or be because it's short lived people. And there's only one of us. There's only one of me, one of her, one of you. Right. And now we're, we're in that season where hopefully our kids are grown and can manage themselves to a point. And, um, you know, now is our time. Now is our time. And so many people think like it's they're over the hill or it's like over and it's all downhill. And it's not, you have like 30 to 50 more years of your life. And you are right. more confident, you have more clarity, you have, you know, and you just don't care what other people think. It's just, it's just great. Like, I think that like now is the time, even if you're 65, you know, some of the most famous people and authors or whatever started at 65, you know, like it doesn't matter. Yes. And the digital economy just makes it so easy for entry. There's yes. no barrier. It doesn't have to cost anything. Do you know what I mean? And you can just put your message yeah. out there. And, yeah. you know, people complain about social media and complain about that. And honestly, it's because of what they're choosing to like and to watch. Like there's plenty of right. good out there. And yeah. 
obviously bad stuff generally gets the attention. Um, but you know, it's just a reflection of our society and who we are. So like, if you start putting good out into the world, there you go, you know, like right. it's just an easy means to do that. If you're comfortable with it, nobody needs to, it's not required. It's just like, anyway, so um, yeah, it's just how you're it's where the attention is. It's just where it's just true. Like you can ignore yeah. it all you want. I talked to so many people my age that are completely ignoring. They don't even, you know, nothing. And that's fine. You can completely ignore it, but like the whole world is there and you're missing learning that because the next realm of technology is going to be crazier. We're going to like literally yeah. live in like little pods and, you know, and have these virtual. And so you're not going to understand it because you haven't done that first step, you know? Yeah. So um, it'll be a little bit hard to adjust. Anyway, I don't like to ever be out of the loop. So <laughs> I know you're good about it. You help me stay in it. Cause I I'm a little bit like, mm, I have my own little show on Facebook, Tara's on the YouTube and everywhere else. And we're just, we're all kind of dab, you know, we're both trying to dabble and go, okay, what does this next thing look like? So that's awesome. Any, anything else they have for us? No, I didn't know where I, I got my coffee questions. Cup? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I don't need to keep you forever. So, um, but yeah, so if you guys have questions or comments or thoughts on Gen X and weight loss and a night, a night routine and, you know, like <laughs> what your next steps are going to be, let's talk about this. I'm starting to build a community. Um, just starting to collect emails cause I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Um, and I'll put the link in the description. If you want to be a part of that, just send an email. It's just, you know, it's, it's called for women who dare. For women who dare to step out and be somebody different. And because the problem with that is that you need the community, you need encouragement, you need inspiration. And so that's what I'm thinking that that could be, but I don't know. We'll see whatever you guys want. We'll um, so yeah, that's an idea. But anyway, thank you for joining us today, Christy. And good to see you welcome. guys. Well, I saw you. Good to see you, New Zealand. <laughs>